So the last time I made fun of REI in the thumbnail, a lot of people did not like that. So before you judge, make sure you watch this video in its entirety to really hear what I'm saying because today I'm gonna to be going over, going over, uh, yeah, five uh, backpacking gear items that you should probably not buy from REI. Ooh, the drama, roll the intro. <laughs> so to start this off, I'm not saying that REI is a bad place. I'm not saying you should never go there. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy anything from there. In fact, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a member for of the of the, of the REI co-op. Yeah, that's right, I'm, I'm shitting on REI, but I'm a member, okay. It's true, and a reason I'm a member is because they do have a lot of good gear. They do give a lot of good discounts to their members. Like, REI is not a bad place. All I'm trying to say in this video is that there are some items that you probably want to look elsewhere when you're buying for a number of different reasons, and we're gonna get into those as I talk about the specific items. But first, I'll just say a few items that I do think are good at REI are a lot of their clothing, although it can be a little bit overpriced, but they have some great clothing. Uh, they have a great selection of backpacking food, like the dehydrated meals. They're good for smaller items like utensils, little you know, spice bottles. You can probably find some good trekking poles there. I'm just trying to make it clear. There are things that I like about REI. And honestly, this video could be generalized out to just about any of the big corporate outdoor retailers. I just chose REI because I guess because the thumbnail looked cool. Okay. <laughs> and the last thing I want to say is I'm going to mention some alternative brands that you can look at that REI doesn't sell. In this video, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. Some of them I haven't even used myself. I'm not saying you should get them. I'm not endorsing them. I'm just giving some examples. Okay. Okay, Mr. Commenter, you can, you can chill out, take a sip of water, stretch your fingers. You've been typing away. Don't worry, your precious REI is gonna be just fine. Okay, so let's come down to the screen here. Look at this lady, she's having a good time. This guy's doing some pull-ups. Look at that, great, great website here. But anyways, we're gonna be talking about backpacking tents. That is gear item number one that, in my opinion, my humble opinion, although I'm not very humble sometimes, so in my opinion, my non-humble opinion, what the f am I talking about right now? You should not buy from uh, REI tents are one of those things. So anyways, let's see what they have for backpacking tents here. We got a lot of a lot of big boys, as you would say, a lot of uh, double walled tents. And I'm not gonna say that any of these tents are trash, but the truth is, I don't know, I think there's a lot of good alternatives out there compared to these tents. Like if you're a beginner backpacker and you know, you walk into Aria, you might see this passage two tent with a footprint. Holy shit. And you know, it looks like a good tent. I'm sure it's great for like car camping, but honestly, I don't think this is the best tent for backpacking. Let's see how much it weighs. <sighs> Yikes, four pounds, two ounces, and that's the minimum trail weight, guys. We can do better than that. I will say they do have some like better, like lighter weight tents here too. Like I've heard okay things about this Flash Air 2 tent. You know, it's a trekking pole tent. It's got that UL design kind of, let's see how much it weighs. Package weight, two, that's not like as bad as the other one. It's not the worst tent in the world, but I think this is probably one of the lightest tents we're gonna see on here. Maybe the Big Agnes Fly Creek is lighter. You know, it's this one's all right. This is actually the tent that I've had for a while. I have a much older version, but I've since upgraded and I'm gonna have a future video on that, by the way, if you're if you're curious, gearheads, I know you are. And you know, we don't need to go through the specs of every single tent here. My point is simply, if you walk into REI and only limit yourself to the options of backpacking tents that they have, you're gonna be missing out on some great alternatives, some lighter weight gear, some more, I don't know, cutting edge gear in my non-humbled opinion. And that's why personally I would look elsewhere than REI or at the very least look at REI but also include other places when you're looking for a backpacking tent. Now let me recommend or not recommend. Now let me just suggest a few tents that you should look into. Again, I haven't used these tents. I just know they're popular amongst the backpacking community and you will not find these tents at REI. If you are independently wealthy, <laughs> you could look into z -Pax tents. Maybe this wasn't the best one to start with because yikes, look at that price tag. But look at that weight tag. Ooh, the weight savings. Oh, the duplex is a really popular tent. Has that gone up in price since the last time? I Damn. Maybe let's look at another one. <laughs> Six Moon Designs. Ooh, they got the little video website going here. Oh, that's nice. Let's see what they got for shelters. The Lunar Solo is a very popular shelter. Again, I haven't used this. I have used the two-person-ish version of it before. 
200 and whoa come on guys 250 bucks that's a lot better let's see the the weight here 26 ounces not bad and the last one i want to talk about there we go with the pop-ups again is the uh gossamer gear the one tent and look at that only 17.7 ounces and just under 300 dollars i may or may not own this tent just saying, just saying, there may or may not be a first impression video coming of this tent. This is a good option to look into as well. My main point is REI, while they do have some adequate tents, if you're looking for like a good ultralight tent, uh, I think you probably want to look elsewhere. Okay, backpacking gear item number two that you should not buy at REI, backpacking stoves. I've said this before in multiple other videos, so sorry for just hammering this point, but I think backpacking stoves are some of the most overpriced and overrated pieces of backpacking gear that you could find at REI or again, any of the major outdoor gear corporate retailers. There are so many cheaper alternatives on Amazon. I will get to that, but let's just see what they have for backpacking stoves here. And again, I'm not saying that these stoves are like bad, that they're gonna serve you poorly if you get them. I'm just saying they're overpriced. I mean, this right here is kind of like the standard. I've talked about this before, once again, freaking the Pocket Rocket, dude, Pocket Rocket 2. This thing is $50. And again, it's a great stove. I used to have an old Pocket Rocket. They were a little bit cheaper back then, but it's a great stove. But for $50, like, come on. There's always the classic jet boil system. And you know, you get the pot and some other stuff with that too. So it's a little bit different than just a straight up stove. But for this example, let's see, they also have just like other, you know, screw on to your canister kind of stoves. The Jet Boil Mighty Mo. Ooh, I've never seen that one. The Soto Windmaster, I've heard of that before. And like, you know, these are fine, but like, let's see what we can find on Amazon. I really wouldn't be wasting my time buying stoves from REI because look here, look what we got. $12.99 for the extremist portable Amazon cheapo version of the pocket rocket basically. Where's the BSR one that I have? Look at this one, it's only it's like seven bucks, not even. There it is, this is the one that I have right here. So I can't vouch for all of these stoves, like the quality of all of them. I can vouch for the quality of this one right here though. I've got this guy and I bought it like two years ago. The price was about the same then as it is now, significantly cheaper than what you're gonna find on here. And unless you're trying to do like some specialized cooking, like you need a certain stove, like a, or a stove with certain properties for your specific kind of cooking. If you're just backpacking and you're heating up water to put in like a dehydrated meal or to make like a nor rice side or something like that, the pocket rocket here, it's gonna do the same thing as this uh, cheaper bad boy right here. And honestly, I'm pretty sure this one is is even lighter and it's tiny too look at that again i can vouch for this stove i've been using this for years my hiking partner Flossie uses it look this guy said it was said it was cute how about that you love cute you want cute gear right this is a lot cuter than whatever this bs is backpacking gear item number three that you should not buy at rei is a sleeping bag or quilts. Now this one comes with a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm not a winter hiker, or, or I guess I should say backpacker. I don't backpack in the winter. I don't have like super cold gear. And so my, my hunch is that if you're looking for a like very warm temperature rated sleeping bag, then you probably can find that at, at REI. But if we're talking gear for three season backpacking and for through hiking, I don't think that you should look for sleeping bags at REI. And again, this is kind of similar to point number one with the tent situation. Basically, all I'm saying is you shouldn't just walk into REI and just limit yourself to the sleeping bags that they have. Sleeping bags. Let's see what we got here. 20 degree sleeping bag and it weighs three, oh God, three pounds, seven ounces. Guys, we can do better than that. I will say there is one quilt here that looks pretty decent actually again i've never used this but just in terms of the weight the uh, the magma quilt looks all right so maybe you could get that one from rei but honestly i just don't think that their selection of sleeping bags and quilts is that good so let me once again show you some alternatives that i have and have not used some things that you're gonna miss if you only limit yourself to REI, hammock gear. I have used a hammock gear quilt. Again, isn't sponsored or anything like that, but I've used a hammock gear quilt for a long, long time. And I use it on the entire Appalachian Trail and every hike since then. So it's kind of old now, but 
it's still going so strong that I'm like trying to find the strength within myself to replace it just to get a new quilt finally. And I just can't do it because it's still holding up so well. It still keeps me so warm. That being said, I do not want to stay in touch with them. Okay. <laughs> Their economy uh, burrow quilt is an awesome deal. In my opinion, from what I've seen, this is probably the best bang for your buck in terms of weight versus cost. So this is definitely something to look into. And again, something you're not going to find at our beloved REI. I'm sorry. Another popular brand. I've never used these guys, but I know UGQ has like a pretty, a pretty solid base of people who dig their stuff a very slow website though come on guys jesus christ what is going on here look at this and of course All right, anyways, um, let's look what they have to offer here. The Bandit is one that's very popular, also quite expensive, a lot more expensive than the uh, the hammock gear. But again, I know these guys are a reputable brand, even if they have an annoying website. <laughs> what is a Scully? They sell, oh, oh, it's a hat. <laughs> Okay, we're just getting off track here. Again, my point is simply don't limit yourself to REI selection. And honestly, that's gonna be my point with this next piece of backpacking gear that you should not necessarily buy from REI, which is gonna be backpacks themselves. Backpacking backpack. I think they uh, I think they get the point there. I feel like this video is getting kind of redundant. I promise point number five is different than uh, some of these. But once again, my point here is literally there are better alternatives out there for backpacking backpacks than what than than what REI has to offer. Yeah, they do have some okay backpacks. Like I know they have the uh, granite gear packs. Where are those at? You know, I've never used this pack, but I know these bags are a little bit lighter. We got the Hyperlite Mountain Gear too, which is kind of like a UL pack, although it's a little bit deceiving in my opinion because it looks a lot lighter than it actually is. But you know, they, they have some, some options here, but the problem is I feel like a lot of people think of REI as like the go-to place for backpacking gear, a lot of beginners that is. And so they just walk into REI, they got a huge selection of backpacks on the wall and they think, okay, with all these different backpacks, like these gotta be like the best options, right? And I'm here to say, that ain't the case necessarily, necessarily. If you have like a ton of gear and you're nowhere close to being ultralight and you're just trying to find like a big backpack to fit all your stuff, then like fine, you know, these packs are probably gonna do. But if you're trying to branch out and get into like the lighter weight side of backpacking, even if you're not like super ultralight or anything like that yet, you're not gonna be able to find many backpacks. Like I said, I guess there's a couple, maybe. There's just so many more options out there for the hundredth time. And you're just gonna be limiting yourself by only looking at REI. In fact, I'm pretty sure, maybe I'm wrong about this. Again, I haven't looked through every single item here, but I'm pretty sure that REI doesn't sell any frameless backpacks. And again, if you're not trying to go ultra light, you might not give a shit about that, but a lot of people are buying frameless backpacks now. It's, it's becoming way more common than it used to be. And REI just doesn't have any of those, I don't think. Let me see, frameless backpack. This isn't really what I'm, what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is a pack like the ULA CDT, my favorite pack. Again, not sponsored, but you guys know if you watch these videos, you know I love this pack bought two of them. This is a good little uh, little frameless sucker here. I'm not crazy about that color, but anyways, this is a great alternative backpack. Super underrated in my opinion, even as it's gained popularity and you're not going to find it at REI. And that's just one example. Obviously there's lots of other backpack companies out there that you're not going to find in REI. I will say that I feel like REI and other corporate outdoor retailers, you know what I'm saying, have kind of recently started to incorporate a little bit more of like the cottage vendor gear. Like we just saw that hyper for like mountain gear pack on REI's website. I don't know if you consider them cottage really, but I think I think they kind of are. And so I wouldn't be surprised if in the future we do start to see more of this cottage brand kind of gear at retailers like REI, but for now that's that's just not the case. And for this last item, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more broad and you might hate me for it because well, let me just explain. This next point is kind of stepping away from the theme of like very specific gear items, but hear me out because this last point is the item that you should not buy from REI is literally anything before you check alternative websites for cheaper deals. So shoes are an example that I'm gonna use here. REI has a great shoe selection. I've bought trail running shoes from REI before. You know, it's great. You can go into the store, you can try them on. That's all good. Often you're gonna find the best price at REI or at least the standard price. I doubt it's gonna be much cheaper at REI. Maybe if you work in your, you know, your membership cash back and all that stuff. Cause I know that's relevant for some of the stuff too. I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but let's just say for this example, we wanna find some ultra 
Lone Peak 5 is my favorite trail running shoe right now. Let's see, whoa, trail running. Let's see what they got. Here it is right here, $130 it looks like. That's the standard price for these shoes. That's what you're gonna find on most websites. However, very often there are sales and maybe this just goes without saying. My point is just don't walk into REI and just pay full price for shit unless you know there's no other sales going on online because right now, real life example, when I was looking at this shoe and I saw $130 on REI's website, I was like, all right, that's a fair price. That's what most other websites are gonna charge. Like that's the standard price for these shoes. However, a quick Google search uncovered this right here on publiclands.com. Sounds like a charity or government. I don't know why they're selling shoes, but they are, they're selling shoes. I've never used this website before. Look at that. You're gonna save 30 bucks if you look on alternative websites like this one. Just don't get this fucking color, like for fuck's sake. Like this color is so ugly. Why does anybody, here, there we go. This is much better or this. Just not this one, I guess, because they don't have it. Just anything but this, please. You can do this exercise with literally any other piece of gear. My point is simply, you should not buy any piece of gear from REI or any website for that matter without first looking for sales online, especially with shoes. I feel like shoes have sales a lot, but with anything, like I said, look elsewhere for better prices first. And if you don't find any better prices, then you fine. I'll give you permission to go, go to REI and get your ugly ass yellow shoes, okay? Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you found any value in this very simple yet drawn out video and hit the like button as well. Guys, we got some really exciting videos coming up, some really exciting announcements that are gonna be made official very shortly. Uh, a lot of new gear, some really cool stuff. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss all that. And happy shopping at REI and or other websites, hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Sh